A warm welcome to all you listeners who've just tuned in. You're listening to the sizzling sounds of Lego City Radio. And let me tell you that the forecast for today is hot, hot, hot. She is Lego City. It's been two years since I was sent away, but it made me a better cop, a smarter, faster cop. Ah! So what brings you back here, Chase McCain? An old acquaintance. A promise to keep. A debt of honor to be repaid. I meant business or pleasure. I have to fill in your paperwork. Maybe neither. Maybe both. Yeah, I really do have to tick one of the boxes. Buff right out. My love will go on. And with the skill of an old sea dog, I slide her smoothly into port. And what brings you to Lego City, young lady? Uh, this boat? Oh, fiddle pants! Mayor Gleason. Thank you so much for coming back, Chase. I know it can't have been easy for you. I had to get a new passport. I was referring to you leaving under a cloud, but okay. I'll get straight to the point. Rex Fury has escaped and is at large in Lego City. What? Is Natalia okay? Natalia's fine. She's still in witness protection. I have to speak to her. I'll get you her number. But if you really want to protect Natalia, find Rex Fury and bring him to justice. Again. Chase, this city is in the grip of a crime wave. Really? Yes. Look. Hey! <laughs> and I'm certain Rex Fury is behind it. You're the only person I trust to stop him, Chase. Get to the station and get me Rex Fury. Insurance details later.
Losers! from.
Sorry, police business. Where did they come from? Hey, do you need help with those donuts? No, I'm okay, thanks. I'm Frank Honey, by the way. Chase. Chase McCain. Chase McCain? You're a legend! Is it true that you brought down Rex Fury? Mm, just part of the team. Deputy Dunby made the actual arrest. And I'm not a legend. I'm an ordinary cop. Just like you, honey. Whoa! <laughs> well, maybe not just like you. So, you want to show me around this new station of yours? It would be my honor! I will wait for you inside. Okay. Hello? Natalia. Chase? Yeah, it's me. Are you okay? Charged! What do you think you're doing? You can't call me! I'm in witness protection! <gasps> witness protection? I was worried. Rex is out. I thought he might come after you. I know, but he's not after me. The chief of police himself told me that Rex fled the city. What? The mayor just told me he was still here. What? Should I? Uh, yeah. I just want to make sure you're safe. You're the reason I got into this mess in the first place. Where are you? I'm not telling you that. Natalia, Natalia Smith, Smith to Mercy, Mercy Hearts, Hearts reception, reception, please. Mercy Hearts Hospital? No! Yes, but don't bother coming here, because if Rex could come after me, then I'm not sticking around. <laughs> Rex. Cleaning the stairs. I'm cleaning the stairs. Are you sure that's safe, Frank? Of course it's. <laughs> oh. Hey there. This is our main computer. It doesn't usually smoke like this. It got hacked into this morning. Triggered a security alert and locked down the elevator, but it only blew up when Frank tried repairing it. With a hammer. Uh, uh. Oh. <laughs> 
Main computer operational. Security lockdown lifted. Elevator functionality restored. Eh, not bad. I'll try and find out who hacked it. Oh, if you get stuck, I'll help you. I know everything about computers. Computers. Yes, computers. Basement time! Cleaning the stairs. I'm cleaning the stairs. Fine, Madam Mayor. I'll brief the officers on Rex, but I still say he's long gone from here. Meddling fool, making me hire some specialist she's brought in from overseas. Chase McCain? Dunby! You're the new police chief? Ugh. Right. I might not like giving you a job, McCain, but it does mean you have to follow my orders. First one! Get down to the basement and get a uniform on! Are you two old friends? Honey, did you put those essential supplies on my desk? Yes, Chief! I'm going to my office. I'll be giving a briefing on Rex Fury in ten minutes, even though he's probably a million miles away from here by now. Do not disturb me! Wow. Yeah, he does seem in a better mood today. Come on, let's get you a uniform. This is our basement. I'll give you a tour. Over here! This way! Come over here! Frank? No, that's my name. Chase! Chuck's vehicle request desk is in there. When you start, they only let you use one type of car. But if you're good at your job, you'll be able to get loads more! Yeah. How many types do you have, Frank? Well, we should probably move on now. The lift up to those rooms is out of action. Chuck says it's for our own Whoa. safety because a monster lives up there. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> a monster. Yeah! <laughs> Please don't let it eat me! Uh... Sure, Frank. What's behind this door? Oh, we'll come back to here. It's special. Come on, let's find you a uniform. We had a delivery this morning, so there should be one somewhere. Oh! When I started, I had to use a hand-me-down from another officer. I looked pretty good in a dress. Check inside those boxes. Ugh. 
This is worse than gym class at school. that all furniture is self-assembly these days. giving me 110% and math lessons sure mr. Simons used to shout at me but chief Dumby said I had bad ankles Now you've got your uniform, I'll show you the special place. It's the requisitions desk. No pay, no uh, pay. I hope Feel Ellie's over. in. Insert cliche here. This way. Oh. Ellie, you in there? Is that you, Frank County? Give me a minute. This is the requisitions desk and evidence locker. The girl who runs it is called Ellie Phillips. Hey there. <laughs> Oh, I had no idea you were in. You just spoke to me. Hi there. I'm Chase. Yeah, it's the guy you told me about. Chase McCain! Well, it's nice to meet you, Chase McCain. My Uncle Duke told me all about you and that Rick's Fury case a few years back. Oh, yeah? Don't worry. There's a few of us in the station know you did all the real work on it. Phew. <clears throat> this is a police communicator. It does everything your old phone did and a whole lot more, including keeping me up to date with what you're doing. You'll need to connect it to the main computer in the lobby before you can use it. You think you can help Chase do that for me, honey? Uh, uh. Good boy. And I'll give you a call once you're hooked up, Chase. Sorry, I've got some evidence from a robbery at a bakery to file away. If I don't, the chief will eat it. Come on, I'm holding the elevator. <laughs> this way, Chase. There you are. Go on, use the main computer. Communicator connected. Updating. 1% complete. <sighs> progress bars. Hey, Frank. Someone needs to wake the chief up. <sighs> I work too hard. Well, I'm not waking him up. He'll fire me again. Eh, I didn't want to get briefed on Rex Fury anyway. You still got the key to his office? It's right here in my hand, isn't it? No. Oh, then I've lost it? 100% complete. I'll help you find it. 
The sooner he's awake, the sooner I can start doing actual police work. Thanks! I think I lost it upstairs! So, until we find the camera, we have to take mug shots by photocopying people's faces? Well, okay. Hey, Chase! You got the communicator working! Yeah. But now I have to help Frank find a key he lost. No problem. I updated the software on your communicator and enabled its scanner. Its scream will show you stuff you wouldn't be able to see otherwise. Like ghosts! <laughs> I told you, that was your reflection, Frank. Thanks, Ellie. I'll never forget his weird, googly eyes. <laughs> I hope the chief notices that I changed my hair today. It'll make being bald all last week worthwhile. If you're looking for donuts, then they're in the chief's office. Well, they were. You're gonna wake up the chief? Okay. After you're done with that, I've got a hornet's nest that needs whacking with a stick. <laughs> I wanna do that! I've done it before, although I thought that one was a pinata, but it wasn't, because the candy made my mouth hurt. That was the worst birthday ever. I want to make captain by the time I'm 40. Hey! You found it! I'll let you wake him up. I've got some important work to do. Video game time! Woohoo! He won't hear you if you knock on the door. He's a really deep sleeper. Come on. You have to give the briefing. Wake up! <laughs> Don't wanna. Okay, then let's try a really loud noise. You weren't really bothered about the Rex Fury briefing, were you? <laughs> None of them love me. I'm a nice boss. <laughs> Speaking of... Oh, uh, oh, who's that? Uh, oh, uh, I was just resting my eyes and my arms and my legs. Oh, uh, it's you again. Fine. Briefing room! One minute! People. Hey, Harry! How many coffees have you had? Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Did I have six shots, or only five? Well... Okay, you've had enough. Right. I'm gonna take this from the top. The mayor thinks we should be looking for this man, Rex Fury. He's a giant! 
Rex somehow escaped from Albatross Island three months ago, although we still have no idea how, but that's not important. What is important is that you catch up... So make a note of that! Now, Rex Fury has been a habitual criminal since he was six years old. Good heavens! At that age, he would have still been in preschool. Elementary, my dear fellow. <laughs> we got our break when a secret witness came forward. Well, secret until somebody accidentally gave their identity away! Natalia's testimony enabled us to arrest Rex. He tried getting away, but foolishly chose a lawnmower as his escape vehicle. Pull the lawnmower over! His other mistake was in doubting the ability of the man who finally arrested him! Me! If Rex is behind the crime wave, then he needs to be back behind bars. So, to help catch whoever's behind it, I've had security cameras installed at key locations. The museum, Forrest Blackwell's mansion, and, of course, the banks. What the... <laughs> Briefing's over! Everyone get to the bank! Oh, uh, just one more thing, Chief.